everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Michelle and I'm currently on a journey to lose 65 pounds so here on my channel I post a new weight loss video every single Wednesday and I'm also on a journey to get out of $50,000 worth of debt so I do post a new budgeting lifestyle motherhood related video every single Sunday where I do post my actual personal income with my actual personal budget every single month so if that sounds like something you might be interested in please subscribe so you don't miss when I post a new video so I also wanted to start this video by saying thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to me so far. I have just reached 500 subscribers and that's so, so exciting. I really appreciate every single one that has subscribed to me. Back in January, I did post a video on my um, like five personal and financial goals that I had for the year of 2021. And one of those goals was to reach um, 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I'm literally halfway there. And I'm so excited and I'm so grateful to every single one of you that has subscribe to me. So if you do watch my videos and you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and help me get to my 1000 subscriber goal by the end of this year. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video. So today is week 17 of my weight loss journey. And I honestly don't have very much to update you on. Nothing has changed really this week. Um, I'm still doing my 1500 calories. Um, my water consumption, however, has gone down a lot. I'm trying to drink the gallon a day, but Honestly, I'm barely even getting to a half a gallon a day. I guess I'm just not pushing myself at that very much. So I really need to get better at that. Um, yeah, my water has been really bad lately. I am still tracking my steps and I am getting my 10,000 steps every single day. So that is good. In the last week's video, I did actually get a comment of, from someone saying that they wanted me to do a, what I eat in a day video. And I've honestly been thinking about doing this for a while, but I wasn't sure if anyone would be interested and it sounds like a couple of you would be. So I am definitely going to be doing that soon. I think that'll probably be coming in maybe like the next two or three weeks. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, that's about everything I have to update for this week. So let's go ahead and get into my weigh in. So we'll start with my weight. So when I first started this journey, I was 185.8 pounds, which was my heaviest weight that I had ever been. Last week I weighed in at 153.6. And today I weighed in at 150.6. So in the last week I have lost three pounds and I am down a total of 35.2 pounds, which is insane. So out of the 65 pounds that I'm trying to lose, I've already lost 35 pounds. So I only have like 30 more pounds to lose out of my whole 65 pound weight loss journey. So that is so exciting. So next up I'm going to be doing um, the measurements that I do on my Renfo scale. So if you're interested in this scale, I do have a link to it down below. Um, but the measurements that I keep track of is my BMI, my body fat percentage, my subcutaneous fat, my visceral fat, and my metabolic age. So when I first started, my BMI was 30.2. Last week it was 25.0 and today it was 24.5. So I lost a total of 0.5 in one week and I am down a total of 5.7. Next is my body fat percentage, which is my total body fat. So when I first started, it was at 35.5%. Last week, I was at 27.4%, and today I was at 26.7%. So I lost 0.7 for the week, and I'm down a total of 8.8%. Next is my subcutaneous fat, which is the fat around my muscles. So when I first started, I was at 31.3%. Last week, I was at 24.6%. And today I was at 24.1%. So I lost 0.5% in one week and 7.2% total. Next is my visceral fat, which is the fat around all my vital organs. So when I first started, it was at 12. Last week it was at seven and today it was also at seven. So I didn't lose anything for the week, but I'm down a total of five. So lastly is my metabolic age, which is basically the age that my body, <laughs> yeah which is basically the age that my body thinks that I'm at. So for reference, I am 26 years old. So when I first started, it was at 32. Last week I was at 27 and today I actually hit 26. So I lost one for the week and a total of six. So I am super happy that my metabolic age is finally at like my actual current age. So hopefully it keeps going down, make me younger, but um, that's all I have for my Renfo scale. So on the scale, it does tell you like, um, it does give you like a little graph. So if you're obese, it's red overweight, it's like an orange yellow. And then if you're like in the healthy range, it's green. So this is the first week that every single thing is green. So I'm so excited about that. I honestly didn't think I would hit that for a long time. 
um, my metabolic age and I think it was my total body fat were the ones that were like kind of pushing me into the yellow still but I'm officially in the green for everything so that's so exciting so next up is gonna be the measurements I do with the measuring tape so the points of measurement that I always do are my mid thigh my top thigh my butt hip area the biggest part of my belly my waistline and then the biggest part of my arm so when I first started my mid thigh was at 21 inches last week I was at 18 inches and today I was also at 18 inches so no loss for the week and I'm down a total of three inches when I first started, my top thigh was 27 inches. Last week, I was at 24.5 inches, and today it was at 24 inches. So I've lost a half inch in one week, and I'm down a total of three inches. Next is my butt hip area. When I first started, this was at 45 inches. Last week, I was at 40 inches, and this week, I was at 39 inches. So I lost one inch for the week and I'm down a total of six inches. Next, I have the biggest part of my belly. So when I first started, it was at 41 inches. Last week, it was at 37 inches and today it was at 35 inches. So somehow I lost two inches in one week and I'm down a total of six inches on that as well. Next up, I have my waistline. So when I first started, I was at 36.5 inches. Last week, I was at 30 inches and this week I was also at 30 inches. So I lost nothing for the week, but I'm down a total of six and a half inches. Next up is my arm, the biggest part of my arm. So when I first started, I was at 15 inches. Last week I was at 13 inches and today I was also at 13 inches. So again, no loss for the week and I am down a total of two inches. So that is everything I have for you guys. Like I said, I do have the scale that I use um, linked down below. I'm not sponsored by them by any means, but I do have an affiliate link. So if you want, so if you did want to check it out, please do use my link. It would help me out a lot. Um, I also have the little fitness tracker that I use um, linked down below and the water bottles that I use linked down below. If anyone's interested, you don't have to get any of it. But if you're curious of what I use, it's linked there. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.